Liar, liar, pants on fire. The second game of Liar, liar. As you see, we get to even more murderous of the murderers. We got one more ending to go with, I believe. And it's to tell the... Well, there could be more, but... Uh, but it's going to tell the truth. The truth of it all. Only the truth can set you free. And that's what Tedeka does. He tells the truth to end the massacres. Let's begin. you again! Thanks for your help earlier. I really appreciate it. Huh? What happened afterwards? Yeah, what, what happened? It's not like I've heard this story millions of times, you carry? No, that, that would never happen. That's not really all that important. Are you sure? But I guess if you insist. All of the bodies have been buried in the safe spot at school. There's no way anyone would find it. That's how safe it is. After that entire fiasco, me and Mihu started dating. Mihu is so cute. We do a bunch of things together. Like hold hands, go on dates, we even kissed once. What? No. We haven't murdered anyone after that. I would have you to even ask. Okay. Okay, fine. Maybe one or two people. What's with that look? Okay, okay, fine. There was more than a couple people. But no more than ten. What can I say? Maybe you tends to attract so many weird boys. It's hard to fend them off. It's probably because she's so nice, everyone. Just cause a girl's nice to you doesn't mean you can get up in her space. But anyways, since we were in our last year of middle school, we graduated. We're high schoolers now. Isn't that cool? My uniform's pretty cute, when you say? I think your face is cute. Sadly, me and me who don't attend the same school anymore. But our schools are close enough that we can still go on dates and hang out after school and on the weekends. School's pretty boring without me who. But I've always been a mood maker, so I've made a lot of friends. Every day has been a blast so far, and I'm, a, I'm always excited for school. I wonder how Mia is doing. I hope she's having fun. Hmm. I guess even when I go to high school, creeps will still be creeps. This guy is so annoying. He's been following me for quite some time. I should probably give him a talking to. Hey! You! I'm talking to you! What do you think you're doing? Don't mind a random right click. Don't mind it. What? I asked you a question. What do you think you are doing? I'm just walking. So you've been coincidentally walking behind me for half an hour. You know, some people call that stalking. Hey, you're that guy over the cool club. Tom, uh, what is face? Toru Kudi Kuda. Whatever. So, Kudi Kuda, why are you following me? Not gonna talk, huh? I guess I'll just call the police. Wait. Hi. Oh boy, here we go in our lovey dovey confession. Okay, but we see that I'm a ticket woman. I was asked to follow you around. What? I was asked to follow you around and report back anything suspicious. What? By who? It was you from the future. And we'll never know. Why did I have to screw that moment with the future? Now everyone, let's settle down. Shut the fuck up, Belle. We have a new student here today. He'll be joining our class. Please be nice to him. A transfer student this time of year? That's pretty weird. Come on in. 
Thanks. This is Koshi Tanaka. He'll be joining our class from this day forward. Tanaka's been spending the last few months in the hospital, so he had to transfer late this year. There's probably a lot of things he doesn't know. Please take it upon yourself to teach you things he doesn't understand. Nice to meet all of you. Please take care of me. Oh shit. Oh no. How is he alive? I thought I killed him for sure. Is this a dream? I must be dreaming. As for a seating, why don't you sit next to Mini Mita over there? Nice to meet you, old pal. Or should I say, long time no see. This is no dream. This is a nightmare. A red light me on the way, said the Tanaka isn't dead. Oh, you carry, wait! Adios, Tanaka, you lizard. Come on, Mew. Pick up the special phone, please. Pick up, dang it, hurry up, I need you to never. Oh, thank goodness, you picked up. What's up, buttercup? You're not gonna believe this. Let me guess. Buttercup isn't dead. Huh? How did you know that? Hmm, it's a bit of a long story, but basically... Who told you to follow me, Toru? I want answers! It was Danica! Koshi Danica! That's not possible. No, it is! He asked me just yesterday! Hey, Toru, long time no see. I know it's sudden, but could I ask you for a favor? Oh my gosh, Koshi, it's been so long! A favor, of course. Anything for you, Koshi! Well, it's a little hard to ask, but... I'll do anything, Kashi, just name it! Well, I want you to follow a friend of mine. I heard she goes to your school. I just need a pair of extra eyes right now. Of course, Kashi! You can count on me! Thanks, I'm really glad I can rely on you. Is that right? Yep. Well, if Danica's alive, that means we might be in more trouble than we think. You're right. We're going to have to check the burial site immediately and check for the rest of the bodies. There may be a chance that Tanaka is an only person who's not dead. I'm pretty sure the others won't be as benevolent as Danica is. Still don't know what the fuck that word is, but okay. You should also try to figure out why he's at your school of all places, you carry. He surely must have a reason for changing all the way there. Got it. I'm going to try to lose a schmuck Toru at school. I'll meet you at our middle school. I'll see you there. This is a real problem. Why is Tanaka back? How is he not dead? At least if the class sound, I can go check out the bears. Like. You carry. I've been trying to catch you all day, but you've been ignoring me. There's a good reason for that, Tanaka. You were one of the last people I thought I would see you today in the flesh. It's like you crawled out of the desert hell to come find me. That's weird. I'm um, sorry? It's fine, but you do know why I'm here, right? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused. No, I don't actually. I'm here to stop you. Are you now? Are you now? That's right. What exactly are you going to stop? I'm going to prevent you from killing any more people. Oh, really now? Just how are you going to do that? I'll have you know, I buried you ten feet under. And I'm not afraid to do it again. Then I'll just come right back. Point taken. Ah, oh, Mr. Tanaka. I believe we can call this a draw. But how are you going to prevent me from doing as I please? Well, I've got no choice but to follow you exact whereabouts, day and night. Uh, this is starting to get really troublesome. I can't attack the tank of following me to the very site. I need a way to shake him off. I want you carry thing. They all got nothing. It's really bad, it's really bad. Oh, you carry? Right over here. Hey there, you carry. How's it going? Oh. 
it's you, Akira. Hi. Nice to see you doing well. This is Akira Tobitaka. He's a senior at our school. He's incredibly popular with the girls here. He's also apparently popular with girls in our schools as well. I see a bunch of girls in different universes take pictures of him from outside of school. I even heard rumors that he's had multiple propositions with girls most more of a twice his age. He's he's really well liked, so he's so kind, handsome, smart, and good at sports. But honestly, I had a good <coughs> <coughs> He's hiring my time. Oh? Who's this you carry? That's someone I have never seen before. My name is Kashi, Kashi Tanaka. Well, hello there, Kashi. My name's Akira Tobitaka. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Are you a friend of Akira's? Oh, of course. I'm friends with everyone in the school. Is that so? So, do you have some kind of business with your carry? Kashi? Well, he doesn't. He doesn't? Well then, you carry. Why don't you all come with me? Hey, I have business with her. Hmm? No, you don't. The lady said so. Well, you carry. What it will be? Who will you go home with? This is the exact chance I was waiting for. The perfect opportunity to ditch Tanaka. Let's go home, Akira. You carry? Hey! Let her go, Kashi! You heard the lady! Beat it! Fine. So be it. He left. He left! Thank goodness! After I ditch his numb school too, I can head over to Barrier's site and meet up with me. So you okay, let's walk home together, shall we? Sorry, Akira. I've got plans. Plans? Yeah. Plans. I'll be going for now. I will be going now. Don't follow me. Finally, I'm here without all that useless get baggage. Hey there, I took a bed, didn't ya? Sorry, I had a little baggage I had to get rid of. Hey, it's a boring dog. We're not follow. I know me, I'm not the five. I know. I'm just mildly creeped out the time goes back. That's how we still I'm dizzy. I don't know, but I really mess up my confidence if he's alive. Thank God, it's just an anomaly. I'm sure that her body should be fine. I sure hope so. Oh, it looks like the bear side is left intact. <laughs> Maybe Tanaka could clean it up for us after you crawled out. <laughs> Maybe. Seems like the time. If I'm correct, the body should be buried here. That can't be right. They are not here. Oh my gosh, they're back for the dead. No, that's not possible. Calm down. Let's assume that Tanaka somehow miraculously survived. They buried him here and left. Tanaka might have actually crawled out of this place, then came back up later to retrieve the bodies. If he has the bodies, then that's just evidence that can be used against us. The priority here is to figure out where he hid the bodies. And then out there we found them all. We need to get rid of Tanaka once and for all. And make sure he never comes back this time. Agreed. A staff or two was much too kind for him. Well, not that settled. We need to get Tanaka and make him confess. Alright. Looks like another school day is over. This is the perfect time to confront Tanaka. Hey Tanaka, I need to talk to you. You want to talk? To me? What's with that look? You're kind of hurting my feelings. Well, your talks tend to get me stabbed, so I hope you can understand my apprehension. Fine, fair enough. I seem to need to talk to you though. Well, I'll with it then. Jeez, where's your tact? Dainty lady, I deserve to be spoken to gently. You kind of lost that right when you stabbed me. Twice. Oh jeez, I'm so sorry. I wasn't aware I was talking to Mr. Sensitive Guy here. Whatever. Let me get a side check.
I need to know what you did with the bodies. What? Don't play dumb. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I... don't actually... That's ridiculous, of course you know. Where else would they go if you didn't take them? They're... gone? What do you mean, they're gone? <laughs> Tenka lying about not knowing? Can't, I can't really tell. Tenka's definitely hiding something. They might not actually have anything to do with this. But if he's not responsible for this, then who is? Akira! Either way, Tenika's way too suspicious. I just know that he's hiding something. I just need to figure out what it, what, what it is. I wonder if me who figured out anything out. Looks like school's done for today. I should talk to Tower today to figure out what's going on with Tanaka. If I'm correct, the cold clothes will be running here. Hey, it's me, Assistant School President. Open up. Hmm, no answer. Maybe he's not here. No, that's not possible. He's usually always here if he's not following me, and he stopped that yesterday. He is, after all, the only member of the cold club. I could have to get to some more informal members from the club. The student press is all up in my business to get rid of this club. But I was just so persistent about how he will get enough members in his club next time. The student press is just way too nice. If I was pres, I would get rid of the ridiculous club. Come on, Taru, I know you're in there. I'm coming in anyways. Oh, so you are in here after all. Not answer my calls, huh? Well, whatever. I've got a few questions I want you to answer, if you don't mind. I do mind! Please leave me alone! No, can't do! You're going to answer my questions, whether you like it or not. Someone sold the bodies, but I didn't do it. But if I didn't, who did? It was probably her. I need to go talk to her. Hey! Hey, you there! You with the eyebrows! Some guy outside wants to talk to you Says he's a friend of yours mm, I'll go talk to him man. Thank you So, what do you want? I heard from you, Carrie, that the bodies disappeared And I think you're responsible for it What could ever lead you to that conclusion? Look, Minnie and me after I caught myself out of my own grave, I went to the hospital for several months. They said it was a miracle that I even survived. What exactly does this have to do with our current conversation? When I was flipping in and out of consequent consciousness, fuck. If I always said that word right, I don't know. Near death, I made a decision that I would do whatever it takes to stop your sister to go from killing ever again, and that I will let you know what happened to your boyfriend. The only person I told about the burial site is you, Minami. There is no way that any other person would know about it. And why are they moved? Oz, I honestly don't have a clue of what you're talking about. At least look me in the eye when you lie, Minami. I don't know what you are talking about. You're not even looking at her. <laughs> and I'm not lying. Oz, I don't believe her. There is no possible way that anyone else knows about this. How am I going to possibly fish it out of her? Should I just retire for now and figure out what I got to answer later? Hmm. I guess there's nothing I can really do right now. I'll leave her alone for now. Sorry for bothering you. I guess I'll be leaving. I still don't completely leave it all. That's fine. Minnie me, I just want to tell you one thing before you go. Please be careful. If you're really not responsible for the body's spirit, there's not much I can say. But if you are in any way connected to this incident, you carry to me, you will find out. Thank you for warning me. That's no problem, Minami. I still think Minami is the one who moved the bodies. Maybe I should follow her to see if she decides to visit me. Oh! oh, that scared me. Hello? Gosh, oh, is this Toru? Jeez, you scared me. <laughs> Sorry. I was wondering where you were right now. What for? Well, there was something I needed to talk to you about. Well, I'm at our old middle school right now. 
if I could head over to where you are if you want. Oh, that'd be great. I'm at my school right now. I'll see you there. Right. I, I think I messed up a line. Fuck. This is the last one, too. I better head on over there. I don't want to keep her waiting. So, he's coming, right? Yeah. We'll be here soon. Good. No, that wasn't too hard, was it? I can't wait for Teleka to get here. You won't want to miss this. Gushy, please don't show up. Hmm, that's weird. Tara said he'd be around here. Hey there. Migo! Looking for someone? Claiming up, are we? You're just like someone else I know, Tanagar. Maybe you'll be more willing to talk of him around. Gushy! I'm sorry! She made me! I didn't make you do anything, Toru. I just want to talk to you, Tanaka. Just what on earth did you put all those bodies, Tanaka? But bodies? I can't imagine to put in two five on campus. Twelve bodies is a bit much for one person to carry around and dispose of. Even if you dismember all the corpses spread it out, it'd be hard to find. I don't imagine you can burn them all either. A lot of them aren't even complete skeletons yet. Someone will most likely confront you about the smell. So, Tedica, tell me your secrets. Let's get this out of the way. I'm not going to say anything unless you let Toro go. Why, my? I'm afraid this isn't a trade off, Tedica. They're going to tell me what I know. And I'll think about letting Toro go. It's your fault, you know. Getting someone else involved? How careless of you. What makes you think I'll tell you anything? Ah, oh, Tanakar. Don't make me laugh. Of course you'll tell me everything. You don't want Toro to die, do you? I know you don't. You're such a good, kind, gentle boy, Tanaka. Why are you doing this, Mio? Huh? Shouldn't it be obvious? They cover my tracks and go on with my life. Jeez, people like you have to ruin everything. Do you remember Wakabashi Tanaka? The guy from the theater that you killed? Yeah, I remember. You seem like a nice guy. Ah, you're all the same. Let me re-educate you, Tanaka. Satoru Wakabayashi was stalking me last year. He harassed me daily. He called me every day and left me disgusting lewd letters everywhere for me to read. He would take photos of me and leave some of them from me and my desk. Images from my bedroom and photos of me hanging out with my friends. Crying in the living room of my house over my parents' divorce. I felt disgusting and invaded. When I reported to the police, they told me they couldn't do anything until something happened. Can you believe it? Until something happened, they said. Wow, this person must be lucky to not have those problems. <sighs> I had phone records and letters I sent to Paul to show my locker. I don't think anyone has said what I said, but well, this is a random thought. Alright. They said I wasn't enough. They wanted more. By the time something would have happened enough for the place to get involved, I'll be dead. I panicked. I turned to the school. I begged for the rest of it to stop to my teachers, the principal even. You know what they said? They said suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> they told me that Wakabayashi wasn't the kind of kid who would do something like that. He was a shining star in the Fader group. Everyone said that he could be famous someday. Of course the school would cover up anything bad about him. They just wanted the school to look good. They even had the nerve to bring up the disgusting gifts he forced on me. He's buying you so many expensive gifts. He must really like you. Why can't you just give him a chance? There must be something wrong with you. I was near my breaking point. The school wouldn't help me. The police wouldn't help me. The few friends I talked about it. The ref kept telling me I was selfish. I should just give that creep a chance. 
I needed it to be over. I was willing to do anything. But I, afraid. I didn't think I had an enemy to kill him. If anything, I was afraid of him. And when I thought everything was over, you carry him along, carrying your body. Then I knew. Someone who would understand. Someone who would help. And she did. She saved me from falling into despair. But you had to go and ruin it, didn't you? So let me ask you a question, Tadaka. Do you truly think that your Kyrie and I are killing innocent people blindly? Does it make me a bad person that I killed Wakabaya Shay? The constant source of my anxiety and harassment? I personally think that your sense of morality is greatly flawed. You go around smoothly that you're going to save people. That stopping me your carry is the right thing to do. But really, if you do end up stopping us, yada yada, what would you be accomplishing? I like to think very carefully, Tanaka. I'm sorry that happened to you, Mio. But killing people is never the right thing to do. Sure, Tanaka. Whatever you say. The death penalty exists for a reason, you know. I promised you carried I take care of the bodies and everything else. As long as she kills everyone who deserves it, I take care of it. She's my savior, my darling. I do anything to protect her. So, Tadaka, why don't you tell me where the bodies are? You want her to live, don't you? I can't just selfishly throw Toru away, even if it's the same enemy's life. I don't exactly want to tell me about me and me either. Should I lie? The truth shall set you free. There's no choice but to tell Mio the truth. I have no idea where the bodies are. The leader of the summer that the corpse aren't will just be bad news for Toru. Fine, Mio. Have it your way. I actually don't know where the bodies are. What? That's ridiculous. But I know who does. Oh, bold for after all, the new Danica. Oh, well, then. Who is it? It was Minami. Minami. Minamita, you carry sister. I see. Now that you mention it, it really does make perfect sense. Well, I guess that means we're going to have to kill her. K kill her? What? You thought I was going to let her live just because she's your carry sister? Who do you take for? Who take me for, Tanaka? She made a mistake of messing around with the bodies. I need to kill to ensure you carry in my safety. I can't have her babbling about where she buried the bodies. Wait, so she's not gonna kill Tanaka because he doesn't know where the bodies are anymore? Is that it? What if one of the bodies she hid also well gets uncovered? No, no, there's no way I can keep her alive. But don't worry, Tanaka. I've decided to let you live because of your honesty. That's good. Because you're going to help me kill her. Oh. Wh what? You're going to help me kill her, Tanaka. I mean, I don't know if killing you would be a good idea at this point anyways. You always seem you always seem to pop back up from the ground. I think even if we disremembered you and scattered your body parts across the ocean, you will still come back to stop us. <laughs> oh lizard. I mean at least this way, you'll be equally responsible for killing. You won't be able to report me or carry without implicating yourself. No time to waste, Erica. Let's go find Mini Amy. If all Tanaka said was true, it's only a matter of time before Sis and Mia figure out it was me who moved the bodies. How troublesome. There were so few things I want to do before I get caught, though. Well, ah, Sis, if only you had to kill him, this wouldn't have happened. I tried to try to forgive you, that Tanaka told me that he killed him and covered it up. I knew you were trying to help me in your own more twisted way, but my boyfriend was special. I just couldn't bear to not see him anymore. I had to see him one more time last time. But how was I supposed to know that he had killed so many other people? I didn't mean to take up all those spies and put them somewhere else. I just wanted to see him. No matter how many times I dug that bear, I, I just can't find him. Because he's a skeleton. His body. Where could it be? I need to find out. I've got to find Sis. If I'm correct, Sis class should be around here. Oh, sorry. Not a problem. That's a uniform I haven't seen before. Are you perhaps lost? I suppose so. I'm looking for someone. Oh, and who might that be? My sister. You carry. Have 
you ever heard of her? Why, of course! I am one of her closest friends! I am Akira! Akira Tobitaka! Nice to meet you! Miniyama. Miniyama? Your sister told me that she has a business to take care of, but she'll be right back. Why don't you wait with me for her to come back? I don't like the vibe of this guy giving off. I'll wait for you to carry myself. No thanks. Now I'll wait for her by myself. Thanks for letting me know she's not here. <laughs> no, hold on just a second, Miniyama. Let go of me, Akira. Why don't we wait together? Come on, it won't hurt the chit chat while we wait, wouldn't it? Don't make me repeat myself. Let me go of your creep. Your sisters are so alike, it's uncanny! Come on, Minami! We can do something fun while we wait! Wow, we're here at our old middle school. It sure brings back memories. Yeah, like, like the last time. Yeah, like the time I was dead, but doesn't time to buried alive. Now, where could our little Minami be? Hey, you there! Huh? Do you know where I can find Minami Minamita? Oh, mi oh, Minnie Mia? The third year of the eyebrows? Yeah, that's the one. She left a while ago. Left? What do you mean, left? I mean, it's exactly what I said. She left a while ago. She was mumbling about having to go, having to see her sister. Jeez, where could that ding dong Tanaka even go? I looked for him everywhere. This is bad. I'm so bad at running, I lost sight of him almost immediately when he took off like that. Oh, it's a call. From Minami. I wonder where she came on. Hey Minami, what's up? Hello, UK. Hello- Oh shit. Hello, UK. <laughs> Fuck. Like her. Akira. Correct. Why do you have Minami's phone? That's for me to know and for you to find out. Where are you right now, Akira? Why, in the classroom waiting for you, of course. Minami is waiting for you to come soon. I don't think she can hold on much longer. If you touch a hair on Minami's head, you're dead. Sis, don't come. You're going to die. I'm coming, Minami. Don't worry. I've got to save Minami. Akira, I know you're here. Oh boy. Welcome, you carry. Ooh, gosh. Sis, help. Let Minami go, you nick nog. Oh, you carry? That's so fun! Are you really going to talk to me that way? I could kill your sister immediately, you know? Sis, please help me. Yukari, don't do it! Mio, what are you doing here? Yukari is the one who stole the bodies. Wait, Yukari is the one who stole the bodies? Wait, what? I thought it was an enemy. <laughs> She's tricking you! She's trying to kill you, Yukari! Wait, Yukari's trying to kill Yukari? Hey, yo! Yukari, you need to listen to Mio! Don't listen to them, sis. Help me. Please. I don't want to die. You better decide soon, you carry. Um... There's only one option. Ah, oh, there's only one option, I see. Not much options is there, is it? I have to save Minami. Minami, don't worry, I'll save you. You carry, don't. What? Mia's hands are bleeding because she blocked the enemy's attack. Gary, you need to kill Minami now! Mia is gripping Minami's life with all her might. Minami is trying to twist it out of Mia's hand with all her might. I'm sorry, man. Normal in. Is that it? Is that it? Wait, so our boy Tanaka can live finally in peace? Let's go! Well, I don't know man, there's like... Three buttons, but... They're all the same option. So I guess that's it? Alright. 
Well, I guess all we have to do is tell the truth. All right. The end of Liar Liar Pants on Fire. Finally, we've ended the Liar Liars. I don't think there's a third one. So, that'll be it. Goodbye, everyone. And I'll see you in some other type of video. I need to get back to editing videos, but I haven't really played a game to edit. Maybe Cemetery Mary might. Who knows? Bye!